And we're live. This is uh, Brady Matthews live from uh, Staples Center. No, uh, we are at Comedy <laughs> Pop-Up Studio. I'm with Jessica Michelle Singleton. This is episode 3084. Yay! Yeah, I've been doing really this podcast. really on top of it. Mm-hmm. I've been doing this podcast since uh, 2005. You invented podcasts. This is before podcasting. Yeah, move over, Joe Rogan. Um, how are you doing? I'm g- good. I'm uh, still waking up, waiting yeah. for espresso to kick in. It's 1045, and <laughs> we all don't know what the fuck we're doing here. Yeah, we live <laughs> night lives. This is... It feels like 6 a.m. Did you have a show last night? I did. I was at the store. A late night's hat. Yeah. Um, is that too high for you? Can I think it, it is, but I tried to adjust it. it and not say anything because I don't like to ask for help. Do you need a booster seat? I think. Oh, it's the seat. Is this as low as it goes? Do you? Oh, Let's this get, is embarrassing, so, but necessary. But you know what? It's adorable. I feel like if I had a podcast at the studio, I would just be on a booster seat every Would day. you prefer being taller or would you, you like being a little bit shorter? Um, what do you prefer? I like being short. There, like, you, there you this go. This is great. Is that comfy? This is great, actually. It's better than the chair. <laughs> Everyone should get a booster seat. Oh my God. I don't mind being short. Um, I do have to reconcile with the fact that most men who are attracted to me have a fetish because that's how short I am. Really? Oh, for sure. They're like, I could try to kill her. Like, they want to, like, Aah! And also, like, pushing her head down. To yeah. Do <clears throat> and I make jokes about how, like, they're probably pedophiles. But who knows, you know? Oh, you did a lot now of Now I'm getting huh? old looking. So, and my, the guy I'm dating... Uh, came and saw my hour, and he's like, that was so funny. A little weird about the pedophile joke. And I was like... I like the pedophile joke. Yeah. It's good. My girlfriend, she's about your height. Yeah. What? Wait, you're like, what, 5'2"? 4'11". 4'11"? Yeah, no one believes me. I think it's because I have I have long legs for my height. It's like I, I barely have a torso. I'm built like somebody drew a person, and it came to life. Come like on, that is... was like, ooh. <laughs> like... <laughs> Did you just say someone drew a person and it came to life? That's how I feel. That it's shit like... is hilarious. Do you talk about that in your act? I should. Good. You just added another five minutes because that shit's fucking hilarious. Oh, thanks, man. You're yeah. welcome. I mean, it's not when I have to see myself naked, Brady, and well, go, where, where is my body? I get it. I it's get it. It's just like a weird little pooch on top of legs. Like, I like that. But, uh, what, where, how'd your hour go? You did it at the Ice House, right? I did. It was great. It was a sold out crowd. They had to move it. A pipe burst in the Ice House. Hold on. They had it outside? On the patio. By the way, I'd be like, reschedule me. I'm not doing it on the fucking patio. Also, re- they said they were going to give me a second date. They're like, because. But do you were you were taping which I need it? To follow up with them. Yeah. Well, yeah. So the tape is screwed. Well, the, but the tape was actually just for me. I wasn't like filming for right. But I wanted a, a good tape to have to send to people. To yeah. Say, to be like, here's my hour. Yeah. And, and my manager was like, "Do you have that tape?" And I was like, "I mean, I do, but it's a side angle, and it looks like I just." Impromptu started a show on a patio. The crowd was great. It was just was there. Wh- how did it work? It just well, everyone sat on the patio. They don't normally do shows on that little no. you know, that, like square bar area. So there were people sitting and then like standing around the edges, and um, it was as fun as it could be. But it just the it wasn't a room built for comedy. They like makeshifted a stage. It's outside. Yeah, and and there and was no the laugh, lights. The laughs just disappear. You see everyone in the crowd. No, absolutely not. So, and you do an hour. I did. I'll give you a hot 15 and I'm out the fucking yeah. door. Are you, know, you crazy? I mean, everyone went up. Uh, everyone I had opening, like, had killer sets. I'm doing it again at Flappers in the Yoohoo Room. Oof. Um, Yoohoo Room? It's a small room. I wanted, like, a tight... Because I'm just trying to work it out. Why don't you just do in the belly room and, and do it? Because the belly room is the best for anything. Like, I'm going to hit what them I up sh- next. I'm trying to, like... Do it once a You're month. You're trying in to do LA. all the bad rooms before you do the belly room. Yeah, before I go by the you room. So that by the time I do the belly, room. I can ask my dad if you could do it at, like his corporate office if you want. I would. I would. What's oh up with your dad? God. Are there men at his office who will give me money for a special? What was I gonna say? I don't even think they'll. Does they'll anyone just have give a money. foot fetish? I'm sorry, I've derailed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Flappers had hit me up and they're like, "Hey, you know, we'd love to have you come here more, send in your avails." And I live in the valley now, so I was like. Uh, it's, it's, listen, okay. I don't have anything against flappers. It's a, I mean, it's a shitty I do, club. But, we all do. Um, I, I've done it. I've done it a ton of times. And I've headlined there, but uh, I don't know if to, to do an hour there. It'd be that would be tough. In the Yuhu room, also, if it's not going good, they're sitting there staring at you. I know, eating their like fries or whatever. Totally. Which I need to promote this show more. I haven't promoted it enough. I have no idea how sales are. So, but like, I kind of. I'm okay with a, a few hours being in shitty situations because I, I'm trying to really sculpt it for it's. I'm still, I have all the material, but I'm still fine tuning parts and there's stuff I'm gonna end up dropping because I want to shoot it for a special in like a year to eighteen months. Where where do you see this special being, Paul? Will you turn my mic down just a hair? Like, 
Like the where the like outlet. You want it on Comedy Central? You want it on? No. Not that I don't love Comedy Central. <laughs> I was gonna say, where goes that? Uh, no, it was, I, I mean, I'd love to sell it to like Netflix um, or like Amazon's trying to get more into there. So a platform, maybe a streaming platform. And I, the, you know, obviously I'm not throwing shade at Comedy Central, but like, I am no one on their radar. So every, I mean, not yet. I, I want to do the full hour, first of all, and I don't think they would give that to me because I've never done a half hour with them. Right. And then like, I have all these friends coming out with half hours this year. I've had other friends do half hours and it's like, Watch my half hour. It's airing once at 1 a.m. on a Thursday. I know. And it's like, sorry, do you not want these people to succeed? I know. Well, no, but a lot of them, uh, I guess, don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they really don't. Did you see the thing on Chappelle? Did you watch his I his haven't thing? even watched it yet. I've just been getting Fuck, mad at dude. people. I like I Because I want to give up my undivided attention. I read I what you wrote, and I'm like, that's so good. Well, because I, and that's the thing, is like, people are probably like, fuck you for writing that, and you no. haven't watched it. But it's like, comedians throwing other comedians. Like, this isn't. PC or like th- you, this was a safe space it's like fuck you but do you see what's happening right now no one sees like I feel like I'm like the only person that sees what's happening social media is crushing everyone's opinions and everyone's thoughts you can't have your own thought without getting just eaten alive destroyed like the reason why I love Chappelle's whole special is he really goes in on how fucking brainwashed everyone is now. That they're just like, oh, if, like, my you, identity is having an opinion. Right, it's if like, you don't like Trump, so what? I still like you as a person. Now, if you don't like, if you like Trump, you're dead to me is where the, that goes now. Yeah, or it's like, okay. if you're even moderate, by the way. Totally. Like, if you just go, you know, like, oh, I'm down the middle on a few things, people are like, oh, you're a Nazi. And right. you're like, what? You're like, how? Because I have an opinion? Because maybe I like some things he says or some things I, he doesn't say, that he says that I don't like? Like, what happened to just having a fucking opinion and being okay with that. Yeah, it's like I can I can not like Trump but still be like, oh, I don't know, maybe I'm a little fiscally conservative and people are like, sure. oh, you want homeless people to be burned alive. Totally. Like, Excuse me? Okay, so just grab a tent and live on the side of the street then. And you're, you're like, like, what? What? what a, why are we leaping to... Because like what he talked about, like you remember that Jesse Smollett? How the fuck do you say his Smollett? last name? Smollett? Oh, the Was guy who... Smollett? I don't know what happened. Did he like set himself up? Bro, or was it... here's the thing. Okay. It was minus 20 fucking degrees in Chicago. He said some two white guys came out with MAGA hats on, doused him in bleach, and put a rope around his neck. Cops he put came to a his rope house. around his Here's neck. The, yeah. I'm sitting here going, one, it's minus 45 degrees. No one is outside right now. Us, it's freezing yeah. fucking cold. Yeah. It's freezing cold. He hired these two black guys to come out and stage it. There's cameras everywhere now, so you can see everything. And these two black guys came out. He hired them to do this to supposedly doused him in bleach, and then... And then he went back to his house. He called the cops. Cops came over. He had a rope around his neck that looked like twine, like looked like, like you, like like knitting stuff. Wait, still at his house? Yeah, he still had the rope around his neck. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm sorry. Yeah. No. See, I don't know the whole story, but yeah, like, but that's wait, the story. What? But here's the thing, though. And he's here, like this rope. It's like, why do you still have the rope around your? But neck? here's the thing, people. On, he's in a bathrobe, and he's like this rope. No, yeah. The cops <laughs> came in. They go, why do you still have the? Rope around your neck, and he's like, "Well, I want to show you guys the rope. You could listen. It was like the, the size rope that Jeffrey Epstein killed himself with. Supposedly. No, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like a string. It's yeah. It's it's a so yarn. it's so bullshit that. But then, but then on Twitter and everything, everyone's like, "We're behind you, Jesse. We're be- we're behind you. This is an act of hate. This is an act of of white supremacy." And you're like, "But no one knows the whole fucking. St- no one well, knows." Well, as soon as they were like, "This is fake," right? And then everyone disappeared. Everyone disappeared. Oh yeah, because it's. What, that's a, that's such a weird thing too, is to be like. I mean, you could do it with like any. If like, you're listening, social if you're justice something, make like, sure it's good weather. Like, yes, women <laughs> believe all women, and then finding out one woman's a liar and just being like. Yeah, and be like, oh well, we didn't like <laughs> Stacy anyways. It's like, oh, just I don't know. Oh. Yeah, she fabricates a lot of stories. You're like, is she I even a woman? That. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, it's, she's trans. Yeah, she's not one of us. And it's <laughs> yeah. like, wait, it's all women or no? Like, what do you? You can't say all women except her. But like, it is a weird. As soon as like, if someone's. You know, the thing they took a grandstand on is then proven to be false. Right. That it's like, oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna pipe up and be like, Wow, I really made a mistake there. You're sure. just gonna go like no. on to the next thing to be mad about. Yeah, you just go like this, oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I I just nowadays it's like people there's no accountability anymore. No. You can just kind of fuck up and go, Well, we tried <laughs> and that story missed, but um we're gonna try again, you know, with something else. Well, also it's like people are forming their whole personality is like I'm so, having an opinion is not a personality right and people's entire existence like their online persona is just you know yeah. out on my watch yeah or totally. whatever and it's like 
Cool. Do you like do anything else besides tell other people why they're wrong? Or is that no? Mistake? Nowadays, no. Well, and there's like the like the articles that came out about Chappelle. Fine. Like if you don't like it, oh, your like job Vice is to and write stuff articles. Like that? Whatever. Like my big thing was like any comedians being like, well, it's like you can not like the comedy, but like don't throw your like these are your peers and like you should be sticking up for people to. This also, is supposed to be a free speech space. Also, in any other business, if you did that, you'd be fired. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Either. Any other business, no matter what job you did, if you yeah. well, if, no one can fire you if you're not making any money. But like that's very true. But like, it, it just ima- there are journalists <laughs> who point. are like, uh oh, Chappelle's having a new special. They like crack their knuckles, wait for it to drop, so they can be like, here's why he's wrong. And right. It's like, what a miserable sack of shit you are to be like. This is my time to shine. Totally. And also, um, it's people that don't have the balls to do stand-up comedy. Would never. Would never. That's Ever. Like, get up there. Why don't you? Well, and that's my thing too. Is like, if you don't like it, you think what he's saying is so wrong. Fine. Voice your opinion. Sure. I guess that's what the internet has become. But as a comedian, it's like, okay, why don't you write a joke about why he's wrong? Right. Why don't you? Figure out the opposite then. Why don't you do what he does just as well for the causes you believe in? Right. I think he's I think he's I think he's the best comedian that's out there right now. I mean hands I, down. I, yeah. I I don't think that that's I I don't think any sane person would debate you on that. I mean, at the very least, one of the best. But like, yeah. The who's best. A, who's a comedian that you um like besides Chappelle, obviously, but like um like comics that are working now that you look up to, a female or a male? Um I, I mean, I like comedians who are constantly getting in trouble, I think. But, like, I like Bill Burr. Yeah. I like, um, you know who I like? I love Fahim Anwar. Yeah, Fahim's great. Who isn't quite, like, broken into, like, big, big mainstream. I don't know. Variety said he's top ten comics yeah. to watch. So he's, get, he's getting close yeah. to that. I mean, like, he's definitely out there. But I just never know. It's hard to tell in it. I don't know if you have this. But, like, I don't know who's actually actually famous and who's just like comedy famous anymore. I can't tell anymore. <clears throat> Did you see that thing Burt Kreischer posted? Uh-uh. He posted a screenshot. Okay, so he posted a dance video. So it went oh, pretty it viral. See that. Yeah. He posted a screenshot he got from a casting director at America's Got Talent going, hey Burt, saw your dancing video, wanted to reach out. We'd love to have you on the show. Are you more, do you consider yourself more of a dancer or a comedian? Burt Kreischer, so who these- sells out theaters. Multiple nights in the same city at huge theaters. That makes me sick. Yeah, no, it's like, oh, we are... Do you want to know why that's why it's America's Got Talent? Because no one has any talent, and the people that are picking the talent don't know talent. Yeah, no, like, it's like... Last time I checked, Heidi Klum, um, what, did, what does she do? Be Hot, Mary Seal, which honestly, not that that's big not. Yeah, that's not a good... Yeah, that's, that's not, not a good, good choice, choice either. Yeah. Well, also, <laughs> like, <laughs> the majority of... So I know... S- there's a new panel, but I was like, the majority of the judges last season weren't even American. It's like, we're not even good at judging? Is that... I guess it just doesn't... like Simon, <laughs> Heidi Klum, that girl from the Spice Girl. Yeah, Simon's from England. Yeah. And then it's just Howie Mandel, who like, fine, but didn't he used to like put him, his head in a rubber glove or something? It's like He shaved his head because he doesn't like germs. Yeah, it's like, this is who's going to judge. This is our talent. Have you ever been brought in for that show? Are we even allowed to say these things? I don't know. Yeah, you can say whatever you want. Um... No, I don't think I've... They I brought me in for producer auditions more than once, and they're like, we want the next Amy Schumer. We want edgy. We want, we want like, a comedian who's dirty. So and then and I'd be I'll like, do so you thing. guys don't know, do you guys have no clue what you're looking Absolutely for? Absolutely not. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not Amy Schumer, but whatever, I'm dirty, fine. I'll do a set, and in the room, they're laughing, like, great, good, we love it. And then they email after, like, do you have a set that's, like, maybe a little less dirty? And I'm like, no. Yeah. Like good, I'm good for comedians who fit their mold because I think that's still one of the only shows that can really. Well, one show can give you like a significant jump in your social media. I mean, listen, it's just I, a specific type of. Person. I'm not going to name names. There was a female comic. She's a comedy store lady. Very nice woman. Uh, <laughs> she You're listen, panicking. <laughs> come on, if she can fucking what? If she can do that. You know, I think well, the, yeah, it's I a think very the doors are pretty audience. much open for anyone. If, but it's like I think you do well if you have material that can sort of go skew a little more family friendly, a little younger. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't make it or on the show. Charactery. I can do the impressions. Characters. Yeah, I can do impressions. I can do dirty material. I can do some clean material if you like dog jokes. Yeah, no, it's like my clean stuff. I'm like, I have clean stuff, but it's literally it's cat jokes. That's so funny. <laughs> right. Women and men are different. <laughs> totally. But I'm, well, no, I just, and I'm at the point now where like, 
I make a living with stand up, and it's a very, very modest living. Sure. I squeak by. Yeah, no, you're you're and it's, really good. It's like just enough that I'm like, no, I'm not gonna write new jokes to get a TV credit on your like like if I have something that'll end up working for a show, great. But I'm like, no, fuck you. I'm not gonna do I something kn- else. I know to- some comics that go, um, they do the um, they go on the boats, they go on the uh, cruises. cruises. <laughs> the boats. He's one of those boat comics. <laughs> I can't talk. Nothing would make my family happier, by the way. I did Vegas ones, like way, it's good. It's good money, those cruise ships. Cruise ships and casinos, nothing I do will mean more to my family than... Yeah, I know boat comics, too. You have to have... <laughs> boat comics. Two full... Cl- I'm just calling them that That's now. fine. I think two full clean hours, two different hours. Yeah, I know uh, a comedian uh, that does it, and um, it's not the lady from the comedy store that did AGT, <laughs> but it's another... It's a buddy <laughs> of mine... Um, and he said he had to write two different sets, one um, clean and one really, really clean. I'm like, what is really, really clean? Do you have to be like, so I was, uh, I was fucking. Can't say darn. Yeah, I was, well, I was uh, cleaning my shoes. Don't you know, make fun of anybody. It has to be like all observational. Everything is That's PC. Fine. You write a full That's impossible. Half... No, you start, you write a whole half hour about being on a cruise ship. And it's just like, <laughs> the buffets. It's like. <laughs> Are we talking about crab legs? <laughs> no, <laughs> I think that's what like every comedian has like probably fifteen minutes minimum up top about like these. Oh, you been to the dance floor? Oh, right. Uh, you guys go down the uh, the water slides. Hey, don't hit on me, Grandpa. I was like H two O. Whoa! <laughs> you guys try the margaritas? It's crazy up there. Everyone's like, getting everyone's getting lit. It really is a carnival. <laughs> <laughs> just did we just write five minutes? I think we did. Oh my god! You know, god. I, I I talked to a friend once. Uh, she heard someone on a podcast talk about that they had done this with friends for corporate stuff, and it's a good idea. And Corporate's maybe I, hard, too, though. Well, maybe I shouldn't be sharing it. Also, I say no, I shouldn't share be sharing it because I haven't done share it. Share it. Having a small group of friends all get together and write a clean hour that you share for corporate stuff. I mean, why Super not? Clean, that you just, who cares? That it's just like, oh, yeah. The trees are woo. Look at know. Steve's calves, am I right? Ooh. Yeah, that everyone just, like, <laughs> everyone just uses. And I'm like, yeah, I guess that's. That's the way to go. Then it's like four people. You write fifteen minutes I would, this chunk. I would be part of that group. Yeah. Uh, have you done a corporate event? Um, What's I'm your tra- worst? Wait, hold on. Before I get to my hard hitting questions, uh, what is the worst event? What is the worst show you've ever done? Oh God, it's hard to pick just one. Yeah, you know? I I have a shit ton, but I've done. Have you ever done one with no stage and no microphone? No stage and no microphone and I'm no trying- light. I've done uh, so it's just a, no stage with like a microphone and just like that like tiny uh, this plugged into the one speaker with no light. I've done that. Where was that? Like at a college party? I think it was like at a bar in Burbank. What in a bar? Yeah, I can't even remember whose show it was. It was like off of like when you take Barham. Oh, this is so <laughs> inside LA. It is. It's an SNL. Take Barham toward where to that Mulholland. funeral. That funeral forest, forest lawn. Yeah. There was like a bar over that way. It was like a dive bar. But someone invited me just come do my show. It's also like the audacity of you to book a show. And then not, and not and have not at least have, a light. That's like showing up and you're a musician. And they're like, um, you said you were going to bring a guitar. And you're like, no, I thought you were going to supply the guitar. No guitar? Okay. Well, let's have a show, huh? I just like, figure it out. What? No. Yeah. I, I've, I'm trying to think. There have been places on the road where... When I first started doing my own like independent touring, there were one or two places where it became a real scramble because I showed up and they're like, oh, yeah, no, we thought you were bringing a mic. And I was like, you do live entertainment here, don't you? Yeah. Why would I bring a fucking microphone? I mean, I guess we could. You just have a microphone in my trunk, but but it's like, no. You can't bring bring any supplies. And by the way, can you leave the TVs on while I do my whole set? I would love that, too. Yeah. And oh, where it's just like. Do you even want a show here? No. It's, are we inconveniencing you? Totally. And it's like, uh, you ever do like Universal Bar and Grill? I have. It's way back in the day. It's yeah. just fighting a crowd. Brutal. I remember with Nick Rutherford and, <clears throat> and Brooke, uh, Brooks Whelan down to, what was it? Some Irish pub in uh, Huntington Beach. Holy oh, fucking God. shit. You might as well have just screamed into a fucking... Into it like a towel for forty five <laughs> minutes because that's that's basically what it was. The it was, reaction you're getting and just it was awful. It's so, it's so bad. I'm just glad I like only re- in the last like year or two have gotten enough confidence for some shows to go. No, I you, don't want a spot. Oh, for sure. I'm. I had a um a guy go to me or uh oh well, you know what? actually before I get to that story I had one awful story. You know the kid from Home Improvement, the blonde haired kid. 
Oh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas? No, his brother. Oh, the dead one? Is he dead? He's uh, not dead. The oldest one. No, he's not. Yeah. No, he's not. Somebody told me that. I didn't verify it. They just told me it. And I, are Is you going to look it up? Paul? Producer Paul, tell us. Maybe, by, the way, by the way, uh, <laughs> round of applause for Paul's kidney stones. They, get, they got, got out. Him out. They got out. Paul, on a scale of 1 in 10, uh, how bad did it hurt? 11. He said 11. I would have said 20. He looks great. 20 is how much See, when pounds he's say, lost. When people say 1 to 10, you go 15. 15. Like, it's what? 300. I mean, I can't imagine. So I did the, the this. he came and saw me at the Ice House, um, the dead brother from Home Improvement. Maybe he's not dead. I have a I problem where people tell me something, and instead of going, that's not true, I should look it up. I just accept this fact, and that's the new information in my brain. Sounds like Twitter. Yeah. Um, no, I'm part of the problem. I'm like, well, I guess... Jeffrey Epstein is secretly living as a clown in Argentina. I wouldn't doubt it. I <laughs> yeah. wouldn't doubt it. He's blackface now. <laughs> Guaranteed. Just Guaranteed. walking around like, I'm not who you think I am. And it's like, whoever you are now is much worse. Guaranteed. <laughs> I did I did a show at the Ice House. Went great. Did I only had about fucking 10 minutes of material. It was, I was only doing it for like six months of stand-up. He goes, yo, dude, that was great. He goes, can you come and do like, you know, some time at my house? I said, sure. When? He goes, right now. Whoa. And I go, uh, Was um, he just like drunk? I don't know. I think they're all on some something. Oh, and uh, kill you. And I go, <laughs> I go, um, I go, like, sure. I, well, I said, uh, for how much? And he goes, I don't know. Is it 500 bucks? Okay. And I go, yeah, what's your address? Yeah. Where, where are we at? Isn't it weird getting stuff like that and going like, oh, yeah, and I guess I could. <laughs> Trying to pretend like your rate's actually much more. Or you're like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it'll be fun. But I mean, I only <laughs> been doing it for three months and five hundred bucks. I'm like fucking like, money. I, n- I never been paid for stand up <laughs> comedy. So I go in and there's like a fireplace. I'm doing it in front of a fireplace. My ass is on fire, <laughs> literally yeah, on like it's fire. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, and um, I had no ma- material. Any, I had no more material after like fifteen minutes. Did you just start like. Crowd and working? his girlfriend pats me on the back. She goes, "Good job, thank you." <laughs> She's like sad. Basically. Okay, we've seen. Okay. And I go, all right, well, all right, I'm, I'll see you later. And he paid me my 500 bucks, and then. That's um, amazing. And, and then, then he died. Then Possibly. He, Paul? Is he, is he dead, Paul? Oh. Is any, are any of them dead? Uh, Middle brother? Wilson. Dead. Wilson's dead? Oh, probably old age. Really? Wilson's dead? He's probably still behind that fence, just dropped dead. The whole family moved away. What a great gig. You're Wilson. You're behind. They're like, the be- he's like, like, what's the, how do you even audition for that? Can you imagine? You just get you just get behind a chair, and they're like, "Good, just a little bit lower." Can you just great? Yeah. See those eyeballs, and go ahead with the dialogue. I just imagine like getting that, and and you're just gonna be like, this. This role is not gonna last. It's stupid. I mean, the yeah, the things the show's not gonna like, last. We're not gonna tell you anything about it. Just do on camera. Yeah. But also, what like best case scenario for like the amount of money he gets, but then like. He can go out in public and nobody recognizes him. Oh, it's so great. And when they finally got, showed him. They're like, well, how, do you, how do you have so much money? They're like, what are you in the cartel? He's like, no, home improvement. Yeah, and like, who? Like, I'm Wilson. Dude, also, <laughs> you could have gotten so much pussy just lying and being like, I'm Wilson on home improvement. <laughs> so many men could have been like, no, I'm Wilson on home improvement. That's <laughs> so true. I mean, I hope somebody did. I want I want to be Wilson. All right, let me get to these things. Um, what was the first porn? What was the first porn you ever watched? First porn I ever watched. I'm trying to think. It was. And def- how old were you? And where oh, is I this? was like 13. Nice. My brother had downloaded an obscene amount of porn on <laughs> yes. our family computer. <laughs> yes. And um, how many I'm, computers did you guys have at the house? Just one. Just, just one? one. But it was like downstairs, and my mom is he older or younger than you? He's like a year and a half older. <laughs> okay. And I think he just like it was the days of like America Online. I think he just typed in porn and downloaded everything because. I, the first porn I saw was like a, definitely a woman choking on a penis type of situation. I watched yeah. a ton of blowjob porn before I'd ever seen a dick. <laughs> nice. And by the time I gave my first blowjob, my boyfriend was You're like, a pro. He was like, okay. He's like, you could, you didn't have to pretend you've never done this before. Like he thought I was being like, I've never done this before. He's like, it's not a big deal. And I was like, I haven't done this before. He's like, there's literally no way that you haven't done this before. God, you I was like, uh, you know, like looking up all the like porn <laughs> tricks where it's like, like hitting it on my tongue and being like, mm. <laughs> by the way, that by the way, that does nothing for us. We girls are just like, uh, you're like, just go just, ahead, just do the whole thing. Yeah, but I had like the two hands, wow. and like, you know, playing with the balls, and it's th- well to me, it's also like, what a an unknown blessing I was getting because I just think now I'm like, there are women who just go in for that and they've never seen a porn. They've never watched an instructional video. I mean, nowadays that's almost impossible, right? Yeah. Well, it's, unless I was, you live under a fucking rock. I was I was in a conversation with 
uh, some dude, some some dude, some male friends about this, but they were talking about how like some girls when they give head just don't do anything. They're like, yeah, it's like bad, and they just kind of like put their dick in your mouth. And my and my defense of that was like, well, have you ever given them notes? I'm like, you can't give notes. And I'm like, well, if they don't know they're doing it shitty. Also, if you give them notes, they're gonna be like, wait, so that wasn't good. And then they have a complex, and then you're. With the and then they're like, well, now I don't even want to do it. And, but like, the like hearing that also was like. And they're like, so, like, most women, it just sits there. And I was like, oh, I'm fucking killing the game. Yeah. Well, th- I mean, good for you. You're like one out of a billion that actually do it right. But like, a, very quickly after that, I, because there was just pictures. It was, you know, like where you like download and like slowly a naked yeah. woman would come in. Yeah. I saw a, a photo of a I woman sucking a greyhound dog's dick. I was no, like, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's gross. It's not okay. But I think my brother was just like, porn. And <laughs> just downloaded it. And I started clicking on everything and I was like, isn't some isn't but, but like listen what? like we all look at porn but like there's some stuff like when you're looking at it when you're about to find like that video and then there's like that side caption of like a dude with like a huge throbbing wiener sitting in like a chair you're like bro I'm gonna throw Get up, up. now I'm mean? not even horny anymore now I have this, am <laughs> right <laughs> that behind the ball shot but Paul that you know what I'm talking about like, like you're like what is this. Just what is this? Is your penis too small? You want to get a little bit bigger and you see guys like wiener just getting bigger and bigger. You're like, what? Oh, the ads when it's just yeah, like, there's that's a, what I'm talking I about. I get when they're like, horny moms near you. I'm like, who are these women? No, I These hate... are women who are employed and they're hookers and we're not saying that. Right. And also there's like, a, there's a thing before you, that comes on your video before there's like a girl and she's doing her thing and she's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you're like, okay. So aggressive. When it's crazy Give and me a hardcore. Minute. Yes. It's like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what? Well, can you can you imagine being in porn and then there, you're like some of these porns are like thirty minutes, and do that's you, just the like they, final cut. <laughs> yeah, but like, do you get like a lunch break? What happens? Do you, you're like, was that good? You can't uh, if it's anal. Yeah, you well, can't that's eat. I mean, that's awful too. You have to like enema up. I have a friend that is in porn, and it's just like oh, do, the prep you have to go. But then it's is like she blonde? holding those positions. Yeah, how'd you know? I know. Yeah, I'm friends with I'm friends with Dana Moon. You're friends with Dana Moon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all know her. It's Dana Moon. Right. Um, no, <laughs> but yeah. At, like just yeah, because the final product is that. So you know they have to do retakes, but it's like, but what about the cum shot? That's what I want to know about. Is for it sure? Like, what if you can't come? And you're like, should we try again tomorrow? When's the? Is there another shoot date? Yeah. And is that, do they have like SAG day rate? Right? <laughs> you're like, oh, I beat up before we got here. Fuck. Like, I shouldn't have. Yeah. Do they have to just hold it in for days <laughs> to get the good like? What is your go-to? What is your go-to porn? What do you What do you like? Uh, big tits mm-hmm. DP. Really? <laughs> that's, I don't know. That's what I type in. Uh, I like, I like older men with younger women. Have you ever heard of stuck porn? No. What's that? <laughs> oh Are they like in quick? Paul, you heard of stuck porn? I don't know why. Do their dicks get stuck? No, like like the stepmom gets her hand stuck in the um, in the garbage disposal accent and her her um son comes in he's and like fucks her because she's stuck there yeah and she's like what she's like what are you doing no. she's like stop stop uh, she's meanwhile like, it's like your hand is like in a garbage disposal <laughs> and yeah I, I like mean, call you... the paramedics <laughs> totally <laughs> totally ah <laughs> uh, it's just like the smell of sex and then the smell of like garbage coming up yeah why and yeah why are you doing it with your panties this on a, and a bra this like, is a whole category stuck worm that's so, and then there's the things like there's porn I watch it, like I would never do DP, <laughs> but I always like what, what I've is known that? some girls that have that have done it, and I'm like, was it good? And she's like, it is not what you think it is. It's too much going Bro, on. Bro, I don't want to feel another dude's wiener by my wiener. Listen, that, I'm not homophobic, but I just don't want to feel another it's dude's too wiener because if well, it comes out and it hits his wiener, now it's a whole thing, no, and then you gotta apologize. No, I gotta get some water because I'm freaked out. Well, there's always just, like, one guy in those. It's, like, one guy's really doing the motions. The other guy's just kind of sitting yeah, there. Yeah, I'm like, bro, can you slow down, please? I can't can, keep up. Can we get up. a rhythm? Five, six, seven, eight. Let's get a rhythm going here. All right, moving <laughs> on. What was your first celebrity crush? Who was your first celebrity Ooh, crush? first celebrity crush. That's hard. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. Who did I? Um, Who did you grow up on? They were, like, like even when you were, like, younger, like, you, get some, you get some feels for somebody. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> no, um, I'm trying to think. I feel like I liked Devin Sawa. Who's that? He was like a heartthrob in the 90s. But all the like main... Oh, you, you ever heard of Devin Sawa? Hear, this says, says a lot, but he was Casper. The white guy? The friendly ghost. And You liked the ghost? He was in Little Giants. Oh. <laughs> 
Um, I liked AJ from the Backstreet Boys, which says a lot about. She's like, like, I like the Marshmallow Man. That's how you knew I was fucked up. Is that like that was the Backstreet AJ? Boys? AJ. Yeah, and the guy, I, with the, the guy with the goatee. My friend Madison tweeted that recently. Madison Shepard. She's like, you can tell a lot about me by no, like. Uh, she's like clearly I, my crush was AJ like my favorite backstory but I was like yeah the bad boy that I was like yeah he's got like fucking goatee <laughs> was tattoo he the was any of those none guys none of them bad were bad boys they're no. in a boy band yeah. it's just like you're all I ever wanted and God. it's like oh yeah <laughs> he's oh fucking God. what does he do what's his deal I bet yeah. he smokes cigarettes no he likes like, DP yeah for sure yeah. like probably they all do. So so AJ from Backstreet Boys, Shaq, and Cast with a Friendly Ghost. Listen, I was really across the board. <laughs> Mankind from WWE. <laughs> like that fuck? was the wrestler I had a crush on. Dude, my dad left me in a Waffle House. What do you want from me? Oh, like, that's not I true. Is it true? It's true. No, it's it not. It is. It's true. So it's like, yeah. So no I wonder why you're a comedian. <laughs> I mean, oh, for yeah, I'm fucked up. You started writing as soon as he left. Yeah, I was like, well, I guess this is the rest of my <laughs> oh life. Oh, my God. Here I am. He really left you in a Waffle yeah, House? Yeah, just drove Did away. Did he at least pay for for breakfast? No, but they just let it go. <laughs> oh um, Where was your brother? Did he leave you? I don't know. His mom, my mom, and my brother were somewhere. Mom and me, and he was probably. At, I think they were at a soccer tournament that weekend. Are you weekend. close with your your brother and mom? No, not at all. No, we get I'm along. Sorry, that sucks. But like now, like my mom is mentally ill, so she's fine now. But as I spit everywhere, I start crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She has borderline personality disorder, so she it was hard. Uh, and then wow. my brother, we've gotten a little bit closer, but he got really into drugs. So he was just like, basically disappeared for 10 years. Where do they live? Where my do mom you? lives in, no one ever, I, every time I say this, I'm like, it sounds absurd. My mom lives in South Korea now. <laughs> the she took a job there. What she works happening? for the American government, but like, what is that? Is your mom part a secret of, agent? Is she in the Montauk Project? Every time I is bring she it in up. she Stranger Things? Uh, uh, well, she wor- she works. She might know my real dad. Maybe. What's <laughs> I bet they did drugs together. Probably. She Probably. did a lot of drugs back in back in her day. Right. And Listen then my brother the journey. lives in Florida. He's oh. like sober now, I think, but he also lives alone in an apartment in I don't Florida. know if I so trust like, anyone that lives in Florida. To be completely sober? No. It's like even Have you been in Florida? Oh, I went to college there. It's like even if you aspire to be sober, it's like Florida will drive you to at least drink. Or or eat someone's face off with meth. Yeah. yeah. And I mean it's like what are you gonna do? It's yeah. a sunshine state. Yeah. You gotta have fun. It's so nice and warm that uh, I wanna do drugs all day, I guess. Yeah. That's their motto, right? Just hiding meth in a like a sunscreen bottle. Right. And then you're walking your crocodile down the street. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. Florida. It's different. Yeah, it's it is cultured. different. Um what is uh what was your first first heckle? What was the first heckle that happened to you? Um, and were you were you able to go back at him, or you just eat it up there? I, I, I went back it. at him. Good. It was my very first set. Where was okay? So where was your first set and set up the set up the table for us? So it was. So that makes any my sense. first set. It was like an open mic mm-hmm. in Tampa, Florida, at Side Splitters Comedy Club, that, that I like looked up on the internet. Have you oh, been back there mic. since? I have. I've gone back the last two years and headlined. It's been really cool. Good for you. They still won't give me a weekend, and I think it's because I started there as an open micer. <laughs> right. Or they hate women, right. but they give me a one nighter. I so I'll just I have family there anyway, so I go visit and I just couple it all together. Cool. And people come out. They're really excited. They're like, Oh my god. Sure. She started. You she's know. She's like she's doing it. Our friend. She's, she's made passing it. the comedy store. She's famous. Her name's on the wall. And I'm like. I don't think any of this is. Do you know? Do you know though? That's it is a good feeling to know that your name is on the wall. To know that you did that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had to answer phones for fucking five years and deal with Tommy's bullshit oh to get my past there. God, that. I didn't. I forgot that you were like a door guy, phone person. Yeah. I forgot that. Yep. God. Yeah. No, it's it is a nice little like okay, this is at least one marker of I was good enough. It doesn't put money in your bank account, but it still feels good. No, but you go like okay. I am a good comedian. I'm in. I'm. This is like a check mark of one of the best. Yeah. Yeah. That like I did this by just being talented and working hard. My name's right next to Jeffrey Scott, the piano guy. Oh so that God. makes me feel great. I mean, he's a staple. He's there every night. <laughs> so <laughs> that's great. This guy's a clown. Uh, so you're <laughs> he's crazy. The heckle. Him. Okay, give, give me oh, the heckle. Oh, so I had a joke about how I have a thing for brown men. At the time, I was dating an Shaq. Indian guy. Yes. Indian, like oh, brown. Well, that's what guys. I go to. I was like. Cause I, cause the, jo- I mean, I don't even remember what the joke was, but I go, but I ended up going like, not, not black guys. Just so you guys know, I'm talking like Aladdin. It was very like hacky, new to comedy, yeah. basic. Like I like to take him on a magic carpet ride, that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh my god! Oh I still think he's great. Um, <laughs> I like it already. But um, I went. I like brown guys, and a man in the front row was like, "Boo!" 
And so I just was like, No, you're like, Brown. I was like, Sir, if you don't like brown guys, that's fine. Whatever guys you want to fuck, you go ahead and fuck. <laughs> and the whole crowd just laughed. That's a good comeback. So, I mean, it was it's very basic, but I just remember being like, Oh, this is the rest of my like, is this how comedy is going to be? But I don't like being heckled. There's some comics, I don't think anyone likes being heckled, but that like, they're fucking ready to crowd work or they'd like doing crowd See, work. See, I, I love crowd work. I go in on the crowd and I can just, I could do fucking 45 minutes and have a good old fucking time. Yeah, and the thing is I realize that like, I have the ability to do it. I like to do my material. So I don't like do a lot of let's, you know, and I love watching it. Good crowd work. It's fucking great. Like I Rick just, Ingram is the a king, fucking, the king. He is the king of crowd work. God, and having to follow Paul, you him. you see Rick Ingram, Paul? You never see Rick Ingram? Everyone should see Rick, Rick Ingram. Uh, oh, dude. Jesus Christ. I used to watch him just how, like, even if it wasn't working, he still would sit in the pocket and be like, eh, well, that didn't work, and just move just on. go and to the next thing. Yeah, totally. Fucking glorious. Yep. But I don't seek it out a lot. But when when heckling happens, more often than not, I'm usually able to handle it. What, was that your first joke? It was like, it had to be like first or second. Yeah. Like, off the, yeah. It was like right out of the bat. What was your um, the gate, whatever? What was your where was your first kiss? Where was my first kiss? Um, in the garage nice. of my friend Sarah's house. Like it already. We were filming a school project, a group project. How old were you? I was fourteen or fifteen. Were you nervous? Was, yeah, I had such huge crush on the guy. I was like, oh my god. Is he a white guy, black guy, brown guy? Um, Eskimo. I, my what first is kiss going was Eskimo uh, kiss. I lived that? in Alaska. He's native Alaskan. You lived in Alaska too? And for the record, people, because oh there, there's going to be somebody no. who's like, it's Where not, Eskimo is not PC. It's Inuit. Oh Eskimo, th- there are people who identify as Eskimo. It's like just a different type of native Alaskan. There's like tribes, but oh, people yeah. always go, like, it's Inuit. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to tell a person who tells me they're Eskimo that it's Inuit. Um, I'm not going <laughs> to be, actually, that's not what you are. Um, what dude? Did, yeah, he, we were did he always have like a jacket on? No, that's what I thought Eskimos <laughs> were too before I moved there. It's just people in it's big always coats. Cold. It's He's a always race cold. of people. It's like mm. a but he had a Volcom hat on and he listened to Three Six Mafia. Um and his name was Robert. <laughs> He's dead now. Anyway. He's dead. Don't too? do drugs, kids. Dude, so God. many of my friends are dead. I heard people in Alaska love drugs. Dude, they love drugs. There's they nothing love else drinking. to do, right? I have so many dead friends. It's like God, mental that's illness. So sad. And I, it's, I it is. But here I am. It's made me very. I make but so you many look jokes good. about death. You look clean and fresh. Thank you. Yeah. I got out. Yeah. It's a, when I look at my family and like my a lot of my like super close friends are doing well. They have like kids or they have like stable jobs. Like or there's well two of them are doing well. But I, when I look at my full friend group and my brothers and stuff, I'm like, wow. Yeah. This is a miracle. Like it. It should. I should be the disappointment. It should be like, you're going to be a comedian. You know, it's like, yeah. oh, you're the artsy fartsy. Good luck making money. But it's like the bar was so low that it's like, look at you. Yeah. Not on heroin. Totally. You get a job. You think of... you're better than us? Right. You have all your teeth still? <laughs> right. You're not living in a Bronco outside of a gas station? Buy me, an, buy me a plane ticket. But, um, yeah, first kiss. That was, in, that was in the garage. We were drinking, I think it was Mike's Hard Lemonade's. Or I'm like listen. some wine coolery, you know, bitch beer. Sure. All listening to music. Sarah's parents were out of town. Yeah, and he kissed me. Damn. And I was like, this is so cool. I could not wait to be a slut, by the way. Like, all I did was kiss him, but like because of all the porn I'd seen, yeah. like I was ready. Ready to go. Yeah. I, like I, I was like, I can't wait till somebody fingers me. Like, right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, I, like, that's sometimes I question, like, when people bring up gender stuff or they're like, yeah, there's more than two genders. Or I was like, sometimes I'm like, maybe I am a man just because the way I'm like, yeah, I fuck. Yeah, like, totally. The way I talk about fucking, I'm like, yeah. oh, fuck. My pussy is tight. <laughs> oh, my I'm like, God. It's, yeah, I'm like, what? What's wrong with me? <laughs> but. When did you lose your, um, when did you lose your virginity? Uh, oh. <laughs> touch the subject. Uh, She's like, Alaska. Uh, yeah, Alaska. I, I didn't, I like. I tried to not count the first time because it was just so short and awful. Oh, yeah. So, like, I want to be like prom night to my boyfriend's <laughs> senior year. Right. But the year before that, I was dating a man who drove a purple conversion van. Um, what the fuck? Anyways, I lost my virginity to him <laughs> at his house. You might be my best guest ever, <laughs> by the way. I ever. I hopped up on Benadryl. I didn't do it recreationally. He had Bene- cats. Benadryl. <laughs> so, you're what? And is I was happening? allergic to the cats. So, I was like, I need allergy pills. He's like, I have Benadryl. So, I was all. 
I don't know if you guys have ever had to take Benadryl. I've taken Benadryl and I fall asleep like a fucking yeah, no. champion. It's I was it's like the original Ambien. Yeah. But I was I was like, yeah, no, this is fine. We're listening to I think Joe Diffie. Three Eleven. No, like the <laughs> I think everyone in Alaska country. listens to Three Eleven. Oh, for sure. It's like wow, the fact that I have never been fingered by a juggalo is a miracle. You know. <laughs> well, it's not too late. I, oh, I mean, yeah. I'm still trying to they're, like get them to hire to, me to headline the gathering the juggalos. I think they're coming to the to the mint room or <laughs> the mint. <laughs> is are, I'm gonna be there. Out so, on Pico I think they sold out all 50 tickets. Remember when they tried to make that like a classy place? It's like you're on Pico. There's nothing here. I just saw a tumbleweed filled with needles. Yeah, you're not you're not doing so hot when you're playing at the mint. Yeah, I was like, ooh, the mint. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's one bartender and uh, one guy working the lighting, and that's it. Yeah, also ironic name for a place that just smells like bad breath. But <laughs> uh, he had a water bed. What? I'm from a place where, In like, his van? No. Oh. In his house. Oh. I'm from a place... Oh, I grew up in a family where, like, just to, like... This kind of t- tells you the tone of my family. It's like a water bed was fancy. Like oh. I thought it was cool that I had a water bed. Oh, for sure. No, no doubt. My my buddy had a water bed, and we always wanted to take girls into that room because it was a water bed. Yeah, I don't do you think know really is? rich people did that. Do you know how hard is the fuck in a water bed? No, there's you can't get your rhythm. There's waves. It's like whoa. But luckily, it Impossible. only lasted like three seconds. NASCAR sheets, by the way. Hot get, on Benadryl. Get, country you, music's playing. You can't make this shit. And up. I was like, I love you. And then. And he'd had sex before, so I'm like, he knows what he's doing. Sure, had no clue what he was just doing. Th- like three seconds in, just like, oh. And I was like, are you kidding me? That's it. You're like, get out of here, I'll finish this. Also, by the, the first penis I ever saw, uh, because I'd watched so much porn already. Yeah. My boyfriend, he was, uh, of the time, it was my junior year, he was a hockey player. Now I'm listening. Big, like six foot. Small fucking, wiener. The thing is, is in retrospect, I think his wiener was very average, like average size. But average but, is okay. But also, he's so big that it looked smaller, and all I had seen until that moment were was th- huge dogs. No, and, and I didn't talk to anybody about porn, <laughs> that is so a like dunk. I just thought that's what dicks look like. Yeah. So just he had these like throbbing cocks. <laughs> yeah, and, and then, and then he comes out pen- with like a regular <laughs> penis, and I was like, oh, and he's like, what? And I was like, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. I thought it would be, I just thought they were, I thought penises were bigger. My wiener would go right back. Because I tried to be like, how can I say this without going like, your penis is small. I just was like, I thought. My wiener would go right back inside me. Yeah, he's like, what? He was so My wiener would put his coat back on and just leave. I was like, no, it's great. I can't, I, it's still too big for me, probably. (laughs) So how was the, how was the, how was the sex with him? Was it all right? I didn't have sex with him. It was an ex-boyfriend. The guy who was wiener, I, I blew him. That's nice of you. It was great for him. Um, what's the worst, what's the worst, um, what's the worst sex you've ever had? What's a red, hold on, let's do that. What's a red flag for you in bed where you're like, Ooh, this is not, this is not going to be good. Um, a thing that's happened more than once. What about bad feet? What if a guy has bad feet? Oh, turn off. It's like you get pointy nails. I got great feet. I don't. Great feet. the, The worst is that I'm like, for someone who does comedy for a living, I am. Shockingly not observant. So there's probably been some dirty feet that I don't even notice. Really? It bothers me when people keep their socks on, but then sometimes it's like, well, maybe you don't want to find out what's under there. I'll tell you what, I, did I a- have great feet too, by the way. Do you? It's a, yeah. r- not right now, I don't look, but okay. right after this, I'm getting a pedicure. Sure. Um, but I have, people have paid me for pictures of my feet. Oh, no shit. Quentin Tarantino, are you listening? Yeah. Uh, did I tell you the time I made fun of some guy in the audience at the comedy store that looked like Quentin Tarantino and it was actually Quentin Tarantino? Oh my god! I ho- oh, you ruined this for all of us. Yeah, I fucked myself so hard, and I'm like, he's like, I am Quentin Tarantino. I'm like, yeah, go fuck yourself. Oh, it's Quentin Tarantino, and the whole crowd fucking lost it. Oh my god! I'm like, how much time do I have left? If I had been there, I would have stormed the stage with my shoes off and been like, "Hello, Mr. Tarantino." You know, I almost did hand and foot modeling. You didn't know that, but I'm I telling didn't. you. Wow. Yeah. Look at those. Let me see your hands. Bam. Nice. See. Solid. Mm-hmm. I have calluses. I got a hand tattoo now. Yeah, slow I down. I like that. Of, yeah, it's uh, I was. Is that mind. when you're giving a hand job? Or I make a joke about it now because I was writing mm-hmm. it on my hand every night for comedy, uh, because I talk too fast. It's a note I get all the time. I just get too excited. Yeah, and then well, I, you're in the moment. Yeah, and so I was writing it there in permanent marker, and then one day I was on like a three month summer tour because I just stayed on the road, Mountain Dew. Uh, oh my god, that's <laughs> this is why I won't do cocaine. <laughs> that's is your I yeah I had a Mountain Dew and I was like fuck it let's make it permanent. Yeah, and I was in Florida. Uh, God damn! All I, bad things happen in Florida. 
So I did it, and I'm fine with it. But like, yeah, no, I did realize I'm like, oh yeah, this is like the hand I look at when I suck a dick. <laughs> oh Which honestly, and and I'm not running a bit on you, but I have made a joke about it. I've thrown up on more than one dick. So it's like what? That's a thing. Yeah, not. On, it's not like Ooh, you want me to throw up. It's like I got too excited. Get too, oh. I well, and the real thing is like never happened to me. But I you know. I had eaten too much, and the joke I have, and it's not <laughs> a lie. I have never thrown up on someone's dick and had them not eventually propose. So you tell me who's doing it wrong. Listen, uh, but like guys, if you're looking for a uh, a lady, a uh, beautiful, I have a funny wonderful lady. boyfriend. <clears throat> oh, you do have. How long have you been dating for? We've officially been together. We started seeing each other in like May. Mm-hmm. But what's your longest relationship? Like ten months. I don't make it very far. I got a I got a line that I hit, and then I. I have abandonment. I have issues. You're still young. You're yeah. F- you're fine. You'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, I'm still young. I'm, I'm 23. Jesus Christ. Hollywood. I don't even remember 23. <clears throat> okay, what was your um, first time First time you shit your pants? Mm. Like past childhood? Like but out of diapers? Whatever you want. Um, one time I got a little nugget in, in my pants trying to find a bathroom in the dark. <laughs> in, oh I was at Girl Scout camp and I was like nine. <laughs> and I was like, Stumbling around in the dark trying to find the bathroom because I like couldn't find my flashlight and then I, I like definitely like pooped a little and then I just fucking sh- straight ever, up shat on the in the woods. You ever um <laughs> you ever th- I've done that where I couldn't open the door fast enough. I remember I couldn't open the door fast enough. I had to pee so bad that I just stood at the door and just peed. <laughs> Like, <laughs> just pee. Once it's done, you're like, well. I was coming from like some party or something. I had a nice, I had a nice tux on and everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I had to pee so bad because I drank too much and I'm standing there trying to open the door and I just go. Fuck it. And then I woke up the next morning. My pants were just in the bathtub. I'm oh, like, man. And terrible. then I also, at 17, in a motorhome in a place called Seward, Alaska, which motor is a three-hour drive. Yeah, I now we're back in Alaska? Motorhome with my friends. We <laughs> climbed a mountain called Mount Marathon. I'm learning so much Drank a you. whole bottle of Jägermeister together oh, as a oof. group. And then oof. we went down the mountain. We were playing a game called Egyptian Rat Screw, which to this day Never I couldn't of. tell you how to play yeah. because I was already fucked up. But it's a game you're supposed to take It's an a Alaskan drink. old maid? Well, you're supposed to take a drink of uh, your beer whenever, <laughs> whatever. Ha- I don't know what happens, but take a sip of your beer. But we were doing it with booze. Like, so I made a drink in my blackout that I was like, so, that I was like, I've really, I've really invented something here. Yeah. I called it a sweet Jesus. <laughs> it, it was grape juice and southern comfort. It was disgusting. And then later... Grape juice and Southern Comfort. Yeah. I would just not drink. Well, I would just would not drink. And I don't remember much between that and standing in the bathroom of the... I made it all the way to the bathroom. And then I was looking down at my underwear filled with shit. And I was in a white skirt. And I was like... Oh. I bet there's some guys out there who'd be like, I'd still hit. Yeah, no, my boyfriend the next morning... My friend came in the bathroom. My friend who was like three times my size. So I ended up having to wear her shorts. They're too big. She was hosing me down like an animal. In the, like in Pulp the Fiction? <laughs> Oh She's like, just, just move, and yeah. And you're then, like, you're not even getting my ass. I know my boyfriend the next day is like, I still love you, and I was like, what is wrong with you? Because we're fucking we're idiots. Uh, All right, so we're gonna do funny rapid questions. Let's okay? go. I'll try to be rapid. You have to. Um, the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. First thing that comes to your mind, um, and you just have to. You have to say first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Okay. Is cereal soup? Why or why not? No, soup is hot. Okay. And if you eat cold soup, you're a fucking psychopath. There we go. What is the most unsexiest thing a girl can do in bed during like a first hookup? A girl? Yeah. Fart? Got it. What's the weirdest men care. What's the weirdest smell you ever smelled? Uh, one time uh after a show in Springfield, Missouri, a girl asked me to sign her butt cheek. What? Yeah, she's like, "Sign my butt cheek." Don't tell me her ass stunk. Well, the thing is, I was like, I How don't... How close did you get to her ass? I didn't get that close, but then I was like, is this just what it smells like? Did you write it, it in It was just musty. Oof. I also, like, was I... Was this Alaska? No, it was Springfield, Missouri. I'm Same anosmic, thing. which thing. is, like, I'm, like, probably 80% nose blind, so something has to be very strong for me to detect it at all. Oof. So then I was like, oh, this is alarming. <laughs> oh I was like, we must all smell this. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> What's a funny Wi-Fi name? Um, there was... I had a neighbor whose Wi-Fi was Hydra Kids, Hydra Wi-Fi. And I thought that was great. That's great. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to steal that. What is something everyone looks stupid doing? I was going to say picking up dog shit. You know what? If you could zoom in on people's faces kissing, like d- the, f- the front of your That's face. That's funny. Like, it, you know, like. Yeah, nothing sexy about this. Yeah, just like. This. <laughs> like leaning in for a kiss is like. Is so. Like, ew, have some shame. Yeah, or have a drink. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever worn? 
Everything I wear is embarrassing. What? This looks great. This, okay. this is adorable. Um, I used to wear, I, I had a lot of eccentric outfits, and I still do, but in high school, I wore a, I made a skirt out of Spider-Man curtains. I, I thought it was great. Listen, you're you're speaking my language. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. I wear a lot of outfits that people would objectively go like, "There, you have a mental illness and stop wearing that." I wear a lot of sequins. You should see what I wear. I, look, I still dress like I'm 15. All right, love it. What's the weirdest thing a guest has ever done at your house? A guest has ever done. A you ever guest? shit in someone's upper tanker? You ever done that? No, but that's my friend. Mean. That's very mean, Paul. Have you ever done that? Yeah, it didn't seem like a guy would do that. We used to drive to my house on lunch breaks in high school and make food at my house we just like my parents bought shitty food so everyone's like let's go have fucking chef boyardee ravioli at your place and my friend our kitchen was upstairs and my friend jareth is like just big Wait, fat jareth? Line maker. yeah Not i know jared jared so they just added gareth jared he's he's been to jail it's a whole you know how many people people are dying and going to jail oh that's we all gotta people pick do. your friends he well, he's like all right you guys eat up here i'm gonna go downstairs and jack off to all the porn on jessica's computer and he did he just went downstairs and jerked off in our Computer is in our like family room downstairs. It's not in a. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where the computer's at. It could be. Like, it could be next to your dad sleeping. We'd still try to watch porn. <laughs> okay, what's the worst baby name? Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, God, they're all so bad. I have a. Jareth is pretty bad. Jareth is bad. Uh, Je- Jebediah. That's bad. Jebediah. I'm no. I met. What a about Jebedi- for a girl? For a girl. Can we stop naming girls? Boys' names, please. Can we stop? Okay, I met a girl that named Joey. I'm like, get the fuck stop out of here. Stop it. Yeah. Name her no, Samantha. Some, I something delicate. I was listening delicate. to this audio, this self help audio book of this woman who I like, I don't even like. Someone recommended it. In the whole book, I was like, fuck you. And then she's talking about her daughters. She's like, well, when Noah was blah, blah, all of her daughters have male Bible names. And I'm no. like, stop it. What are you trying to be interesting? No. Stop it. What a jerk. Okay, last one. What sport, and this is a bad question to end on, but we're going to do it anyways. What sport would be the funniest if you added a mandatory amount of alcohol to? I mean, <clears throat> you know what? Badminton. Badminton? That would be good, actually, but I think they do that. It's called Fourth of July. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to end on this. Old celebrity you'd have sex with that no one would think you'd have sex with. I feel like That's a good ender. I feel like... No one would be shocked that I would have sex with anyone, <laughs> but um, Christoph Waltz. Who? The, Is he friends with Jareth? No, he's in a lot of Tarantino movies. He's like the multilingual Nazi in Inglourious Bastards. That's the guy in Django Unchained. Yeah, he's where he talks like this and everything. He's, the, uh, he's and he's got that like German mustache. accent. Just, uh, I will take. I will take five, my good man. I will That's sit good on that impression. mustache. Oh my! Oh. All right, we'll end on that. Uh, hey, guys, that's Jessica me. Michelle Singleton. Um, where can people find you? Um, I'm at JMS Comedy on all social media. Um, you can follow my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Dumbwits. And Slob Ross. Slob Ross, it's on there. We did a fun show with Brady. Yep. You can see some highlights from that. Mm-hmm. And um, we get drunk and paint with Bob Ross. Yeah, and I have a podcast called Ignorances, hashtag blessed. Where um, can people see you? I am, ooh, that's good. I'm going to be in Madison, Wisconsin at Comedy on State with Ari Shafir. September 19th through the 21st, That'll and I will be, be at Laugh Lines in Westminster, uh, British Columbia in Canada, which is basically Vancouver, uh, the weekend after, so the last weekend of September. That sounds like fun. And then Comedy Store in LA a lot, and wherever my calendar says, jmscomedy.com slash shows, if you want Great. to find my shows. Uh, you can find me at Comedy Bar in Chicago this weekend, um, and uh, and at Laugh Factory in Chicago this weekend, oh, which shit. I'm looking forward to. Uh I've been Brady Matthews. That's Jessica Michelle Singleton. And that's been Paul with uh, the Kidney Stones All Gone. Um, Please subscribe and share and tell your friends at uh, ComedyPopUpLA.com. And uh, have a great weekend. Drink and drive safely. Uh, (laughs) God bless. (laughs) Bye.